Hey folks, this is Game Master Mike, and this is episode 38 of my recent movie haul. Now, um, this is a huge Dollar Tree haul with DVDs that I found, and there is a rare DVD in this collection which I had a hard time finding, and now I have it, and I am very thrilled that's in my movie collection because I um, pretty much love it. I do have a couple of VHS tapes in this haul video, which I'm going to show you all. So we're going to um, do my 4Ks, which I picked up only a few. We got Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. I really do enjoy Dungeons & Dragons. This movie is amazing. I really do love all the features to it. Very amazing. Next on 4K, we got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Um, an amazing trilogy to come to a close with the Guardians of Galaxy. Hopefully, um, there'll be a Guardians of the Galaxy 4 real soon, but we shall see. I have not watched this movie yet, but I want to. Next, we got The Nightmare Before Christmas. I really do enjoy... Um, Watching this movie, I'm glad they made a 4K, so I picked it up and watched it, and it's very nice. Alright, moving on to Blu-ray, we got Balto. I really do enjoy this movie a lot. It's about um, Balto um, trying to uh, show his wolf pack, and he uh, wants to be a sled dog and everything. Very nice. Next, we got John Wick I really do enjoy the John Wick movies a lot. Very amazing. Next, we got Cocaine Bear. Wow, this is amazing. I really do... This is very scary about this bear that ate tons of cocaine, and now he's on a killing rampage. Very epic. Next is Renfield. I'm getting into... Um, Collecting movies for Dracula, the um, classic traditional ones, not the futuristic. Really do enjoy this a lot. Very awesome. Next is Dollface. Of course, this looks very low budget. It's about this puppeteer that's controlling women and um, doing like evil tasks and everything. Very scary, but... Not as scary because it's low budget. Next we got Shark, the Ocean's Greatest Predators. Now, um, I'm getting into collecting these um, nature DVDs and Blu-ray. So, I um, found this at Dollar Tree. I had to pick it up because it's about sharks. So, very in interesting. Next we got The Jungle Book. This is the Disney's Jungle Book on Blu-ray. I bought this because I've upgraded um, to this version because it's pretty neat. It has blue on it. Very nice. Next, we got the Crocodile Hunter Collision Course. His um, This is one of his first big screen adventures. Um, it's about um, Steve Irvin um, going after crocodiles. It looks pretty neat, so I had to pick this up. Next is Dogs in the Wild. Now, this DVD was very hard to find. I remember the day when it was released. I looked on Amazon to see if I can purchase it. Well, it was sold out. And I looked up again and it says no longer available. So, I found this on eBay a few months after it was released, going for really cheap. And I would highly recommend, if you love nature, to get this. Because, who knows, it may be um, discontinued again. And um, the value will rise. So, I would highly recommend getting this before um, time runs out. Next on DVD, we got Tom and Jerry's Winter Wackiness. I really do enjoy the Tom and Jerry um, cartoons. And this has um, yeah a few episodes on it. It's not a long disc, but you know, 
in Dollar Tree, you find all these interesting cartoons. So, amazing to have this. Next, we got Justice League, The New Frontier. Been getting into uh, Batman, so had to get the Justice League. Very nice. All right, next we got the Jungle Book Jungle Party. Now, this is one of the decent Jungle Books out there. That's a Disney knockoff. So this is the sequel to the first one. And it looks very interesting. So I'm going to have to give the sequel, watch the sequel, because it looks neat. The animation looks amazing and everything. So I'd say it's on the decent category for a Disney knockoff. Next, we got Fluke. Um, we got Lassie. This is the, the 1994 Lassie, and it is amazing. I love the story and everything to it. I've been getting into Lassie a lot. I've read a couple of books, and it looks amazing. Next, we got Treasure Buddies. Um, this is the um, Golden Retriever Puppies of um, Buddy from Airbound in Egypt trying to find treasures. Next, we got the triple feature of The Wilderness Family 1, 2, and 3. I've um, recently seen the first one, but I want to see the first two because it looks epic. Next is Surviving the Wild. This is exactly like Lassie. It's about this um, family that gets um, stranded in the wilderness, and they have to fight for survival. And they have their dog and trying to um, go through places. So, very amazing. Next, we got El Dorado City of Gold. Um, this is um, pretty much more of a hostage situation movie where these travelers are trying to find gold and um, they were pretty much been watched all along and they held them hostage. I'm going to have to watch it to find out. Next is Shark Lake, probably a... Um, Low budget Jaws ripoff. So I picked this up at Dollar Tree and I want to find out what's all the hoopla about. All right, next is, um, hold up. Ocalis, is that how you pronounce it? It's a, a horror movie that involves mirrors that this girl stares in the mirror and there's a demonic child in it. Um, this looks very low budget, so I'm going to have to check this out. Next is Dark Whispers. Um, have not seen this before, but you know, like I said several times... I don't know if this is good or not, but, you know, um, we'll have to give it a shot. Next is Blood Immortal. This is another um, cheap vampire movie. We got Greystone Park. I love these true stories about ha haunted asylums. So, um, about... Um, these uh, cameramen, which are ghost hunters, is um, trying to um, escape, but there's like ghostly figures in it that's pretty much um, make them held hostage and they can't escape. You know, I want to see Grave Encounters again because it looks very amazing because I'm in the mood for Halloween. All right, the final two VHS tapes we got. World's Last Great Places, Yellowstone, Realm of the Coyote. I am into nature movies a lot, so I want to pick this up on VHS. I don't think it's been released on DVD yet. And finally, um, National Geographic Videos, Africa's Animal Oasis. This looks pretty neat. It's a nature documentary, and it looks pretty neat. So I also want to check this out. Well, folks, there you have it. That is episode, um, hold up. Episode 38 of my recent movie haul. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, folks, thanks for watching.